We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, it's Diamond Dynasty Baseball between the Fiddlers and the Red Sox. Two great hitters lead their team. And that brings up the former MVP. Keith Leading Hernandez, and we are set for baseball baseman, here this evening. Keith first Hernandez. pitch on its way. Ah. In there at the letters 0 and 1. 7 o'clock. Tried to one get him one. to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 1. Game time temperature tonight, a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. On that fastball's too much for him there, 1 and 2. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Now here it comes. The third baseman. Chipper. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Count is one and two now. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Billy. Settling in now, Billy Williams. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Fouled away. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Harper going back on it. Still ranging back. Oh, my. It's gone! Santa Maria! Infield in the overshift here. The now the pitch. Got him to reach out of the zone for that one. Strike Harper. one. Hey, this pitcher better watch himself right here. The way this guy's swinging, he's got aggressive things on his mind. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Stepping up now, Matt Carpenter. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. Infield shifted well to the right. Matt. Here's the first pitch. Carpenter. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Ground ball right side. Phillips throws to first, and that's out number one. That now at the plate, Cal Ripken. Not shortstop. Cal. Here comes the first pitch. No balls in one strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Gonzalez has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Yeah, Matt, and that's not an that easy hurt. thing to do. I think one of the, the reasons baseman. is he changes speeds really well, and he throws both sides of the plate. One of the keys to missing the barrels, you have to be able to throw inside and throw outside, and he's about as good as it gets in baseball at missing barrels. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. That's a great job of keeping your hands back. You could tell he was totally fooled. His hips started leaking a little bit, but he was able to stay strong enough with his hands not to overcommit. Jones will put this one away and this. Now batting Brandon Phillips as it'll be five six and seven do up the to kick base. off the second inning. Brandon in there and it's 0 and 1. And this is pop foul but perhaps playable behind first but this will land untouched. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string, throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. And there's your first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away, and here comes Junior. And Rippy Junior. Bases are empty, one man out. 
Oof, and it's safe to say he doesn't look all that comfortable up there. 0-2 oh, now. Griffey is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. DeYoung in an 0 2 hole here. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Harper has it in his tracks, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Bryce Harper, and Leading they'll need him to get Red something Sox. going here. The right fielder, Bryce. Left side, but well fouled. The wind up and the 0-1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. Now you could tell right there that curveball had some serious depth to it. That's what separates the good ones from the bad ones. That nasty spin rate, get that downward action. You even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt. Still one and two. The one two is laid off for ball two. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Here's another two two. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Lifted down the line and left. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. So striding in, Torrey Hunter, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Owen won the count. The 0 1 pitch. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. And Torrey able to lay off that one. It's 1 and 2. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. First pitcher misses wide, 1-0. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. And Junior lays off that one, and the count's back even at two and two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Into the box now, Joe Morgan. And their runners at the corners now. Pitch inside the throw. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. There's ball four. Standing in now with runners in scoring position, Johnny Bench. And he'll be tasked with bringing home the potential tying and go-ahead runs, both of which are standing in scoring position. Strike one to start the at-bat. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. 
from the stretch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. At the plate, Chris Sale. He's trying to at least tie this one up here, if not bring home a couple and take over the lead here in the early going. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gap.